Today, I am going to solve a problem on C13 NMR. What will be the number of signals in C13 NMR for the compounds A and B? The structure of A and B has been given. Both are polyaromatic hydrocarbon with phenolic group. Very often, such question is asked in CACR. How to predict the number of signals in the 13 C NMR of these compounds? It is very simple. If you have some idea about symmetry elements, it will be easy for you. In particular, if you know plane of symmetry, Try to find out the number of planes of symmetry in the molecule and draw that. For example, in this molecule, I can cut this there are two molecule planes of symmetry into two offs, which are mirror images, through two different planes. The planes are here, you can see that. If I cut here, then this half and this half will be exactly equal. This is one plane of symmetry. One more is the that is like this. If I cut here, then also I will get two equal halves. Is there anything else? No, only two planes of symmetry. You can say these are sigma v. Now, take this region. How many carbons are there in that particular region? That will be the number of signals. Let us try to count. One, two, three, 4 and 5. Even if the plane is on the carbon, you have to count that. So there are 5 carbons in 1 quarter. So that many signals you will get. You can try here also, it will be same. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Similarly here. So the number of signals in the C13 NMR will be 5 for this compound. What about the number of signals in proton NMR? It will be 1, 2 and 3. Sometimes the phenolic proton may not appear in the proton NMR. Considering that it gives signal in the proton NMR, the number of signals will be 1, 2 and 3. There are only 3 hydrogens in 1. Now let's go for this. It has only one plane of symmetry. I cannot go for this one because both the OH groups are in the same side. So, I will not get a mirror image. Now, I count the number of carbons in this half. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, there are 10 different carbons in this. So 5 and 10. These compounds will give 5 and 10 signals in the C13 NMR. I go for another compound. It is nothing but naphthalene. So you can find two 
planes of symmetry you can count the number of carbon 1 2 3 so you will get three signals for this I modify this little bit I go for a compound like this then what will be the number of signals in that case there is only one plane of symmetry so the number of signals will be 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 it will give 7 signals now I go for another compound this may be very interesting look at this some group here is there any plane of symmetry can I divide that into two equal offs which are mirror images if I break here they are not mirror images even though they are equal but they are not mirror images so this is not a mirror plane the molecule doesn't have a mirror plane in such case what will be the number of C13 signal not only mirror plane if it has C2 axis of symmetry then also you have to break there for example this molecule has C2 axis of symmetry if I rotate through this axis by 180 degree I will get the same molecule then also you have to break the molecule across that line across that axis so now the number of signals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it will be 7. Interestingly, the diastereomer in which both the bromo compounds are cis need not be bromo you can go for even methyl groups it has plane of symmetry now the number of signals in C30 NMR for this will be 7 and for this also will be 7 we cannot differentiate these two compounds by C13 NMR it may not be helpful so how can we differentiate these compounds by spectroscopic techniques is it possible to differentiate by IR by MOS 13C proton NMR if you go for IR we can't conclude that the isomer is cis or trans if you go for mass the mass of both compounds will be same so we cannot use this also 13 CNMR already I have told the number of signals will be 7 the delta value may be somewhat different but the number of signals will be same for both the isomers if you have the reference NMR then you can compare with that and you can confirm but if you don't have then it is not possible what about proton NMR using proton NMR you can say whether they are cis or trans here we have hydrogen this hydrogen may appear around 3 to 4 and since they are cis, the coupling constant J value will be around 8. 
but in this case the two hydrogens they are trans the coupling constant will be between 12 to 16 hence based on that we can find out whether the isomer is cis or trans I can go for some more of this kind of compounds the very well known is tartarate diethyl tartarate so there is no plane of symmetry in the miso compound there is plane of symmetry but in this there is no plane of symmetry but it has c2 axis of symmetry if you rotate through this axis by 180 you will get the same compound Try to predict the number of C13 signal in these compounds also. C3 axis of symmetry. This one it has C2 axis. So try to find out the number of signals for these compounds. It will be very interesting. I can also go for one more compound like this. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.